Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the Zin 556. So this is the 556 reference, 556010, 38.5 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel. It's only 11.1 millimeters thick. It is 45.5 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. And if you include the end links of the bracelet, it is 47.1 millimeters across the wrist with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throwing the watch on the wrist, you can see that it is a compact piece. This is a watch for those who prefer traditional sizes. So if you like mid-century oyster perpetuals and date justs, if you prefer sub 40 millimeter cases, if you have a smaller wrist, if you're looking for a unisex option, this is a great one. It's very flat and you can easily slide it underneath any kind of a dress cuff. Although it is a sports watch and Zinn is a sports watch company, with the black dial, the white indices, the steel case, and the simplicity, this could easily be your dress watch as well as your sports watch. The bracelet is a handsome piece. As you can see, it uses a staggered link design with intermediates and H-shaped primary links. It's all of satin finish. We do have a conforming end piece to integrate into the case. We have little hex screws used to fix the removable links, and if you've ever seen the flathead screws in conventional bracelets, you realize how easily they get stripped. Well, these don't. That's why Zinn uses hex screws. They can take a lot more torque without stripping. The clasp is a single fold with a relatively thick gauge steel and a clamshell lock, and then internally we have a few features. We have a fold-out extension, which you can absolutely use over a wetsuit or dry suit, but also over a thick winter coat, firefighting gear, whatever you need. You can easily put it over any kind of apparel because this is a large extension. It's well over an inch or over 25 millimeters. Now taking a quick look, we have three divots. You can use your strap tool to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp for fine tuning the fit. Now the watch includes a case that is handsome and simple with very thin lugs. If you look at them in profile, they're quite spare and nicely tapered. The case band is satinated, the lug hoods are satinated, the bezel is satinated. There is no high polish on this watch, and that's deliberate to reduce glare. You can see there's a burly set of squared off crown guards for the crown. It's a screw down crown, 200 meter water resistance. Really the only gloss finish on this watch is the dial, which is a lovely black lacquer. Super easy to read the time. This is the definition of legibility, and it's exceptionally well loomed. Take a quick look at the loom right here. You can see the watch is easy to read at a glance. Now the watch does include a date window, but it's well integrated with a monotone date disc that matches the black of the dial. Uh, the watch has a Salita SW200 slash one base, so you have hacking seconds. And then you have a quick set date, so you can rapidly change the date. The SW200 is a Salita version of the ETA2824. You can see it through the reverse of the case. It's a handsomely specced version, and you can see Zinn includes its own gilded rotor, and it has a 38-hour power reserve, bi-directional winding, hacking, quick set, 26 joules, it beats weigh at 8 beats per second, and it's delivered in top grade, which is just one down from chronometer, and Zinn regulates these in-house, so they are very, very accurate. Again, the watch is 200 meters water resistant despite the display case back, so there's really no sacrifices here. A lovely all-arounder for any wrist. This is the Zin 556. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.